The place named Mizpah means watchtower, and there were a few biblical locations named this. First, Mizpah was used as another name for the pile of stones set up by Jacob and Laban in Genesis 31. This location was east of the Jordan River and may be why a later city here was called Mizpah. The later city was where the judge of Israel, Jebthah, made his home. The second Mizpah mentioned in scriptures is a valley that saw warfare from Joshua in the very north of Israel. Another Mizpah, called Mizpah of Moab, was a city outside of Israel where King David took his parents for protection. The fourth Mizpah is the most significant biblically, and the one that has likely been identified archaeologically. This Mizpah was a city in the territory of Benjamin. In the Bible, Mizpah of Benjamin was an important place of gathering and worship. In Judges, outraged tribes gathered here before the Lord. In 1 Samuel, the prophet and judge not only gathered the Israelites here, it was a city on a circuit that he visited regularly, and here he anointed Saul, the first king of Israel. Later in the scriptures, King Asa of Judah fortified Mizpah to defend himself against northern Israel. And while the prophet Hosea condemns the people for apostate worship, he cites Mizpah as a place where they'd engaged in idolatry. Still later, after the Babylonian destruction of Jerusalem, Mizpah was turned into Judah's new Babylonian capital, and it even became home to the prophet Jeremiah. When the exiles returned to rebuild the temple and the walls of Jerusalem, men from Mizpah are listed as helping construct the wall. This Mizpah of Benjamin is believed by most to be located at a site eight miles northwest of Jerusalem. Located on a major north-south road, here Mizpah would have had firm control over traffic to Jerusalem, a major incentive for King Asa to make it formidable. Archaeological excavations that were carried out here reveal a history that works hand in hand with the Bible. Remains from the time period of the Judges show that the city was inhabited when the Bible says Israel and Samuel were gathering there. In the next period of the kings, the city saw a massive refortification process that replaced the old city wall with a new one. The new wall was 15 feet thick, plastered, included 11 towers, and a smooth sloped area down to a lower retaining wall, and at least in some areas, a dry moat. This new wall and its double gate complex are identified as Asa's upgrades to the city. A rich history from the Babylonian exile period has been unearthed as well. A palace, larger houses, and jars that may point to its use as an administration center. A unique signet seal from this time was also found bearing the name Jazaniah, servant of the king. This may be the seal of the Jazaniah mentioned in 2 Kings 25 and Jeremiah 40, verse 8. Thanks for watching. Click the playlist on screen now to watch more spotlights. And if you want to read the full article, click the link in the description. You can always go to BibleDiscoveryTV.com for more videos, articles, and resources.